everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Oh, we are in total and complete construction mode right now. The crew is actually in my sewing room to be, and they are texturing the walls. I will uh, take the camera in there in just a few minutes. It's messy, <laughs> but that's okay. It's kind of like us. You know how you have to get ugly before you get beautiful? You know, you got to put your hair all up and you get paint with foil and you look like an out of space creature or something. Well, yeah, same idea. <laughs> right now, my sewing room is in the uh, outer space creature phase. I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys what's been going on. We just got back from Home Depot, had to get some paint for the doors. I had two doors out there that are going to be white and then the barn door is going to be like a darker kind of a steel slate gray so that'll look really nice i'm excited to see that but i got some new stuff in the mail and i want to talk to you about we will go back here behind me in just a little bit i've got remember the american muscle quilt i made it with grid work that's nearly finished so i've got it all done let me reach up and tell a photo you guys i can't I can't hardly walk around because we had to make room in my sewing room for stuff that was in my sewing room to be and everything's moved around and so my poor long arm is loaded down. You can see it here, it's loaded down with stuff. I've got batting and all kinds of stuff on the floor back there. It was really a chore to put all that up to show you guys. So let me tell a photo in here and I'll get in there. So there you can see the American Muscle and let me go just a little bit wider like this okay and i'll turn it just a little bit and kind of pan up and down i'm i'm looking at the viewfinder while well, you guys you guys this is a contingency videoing for sure okay and i had forgotten but look at that i found let me zoom in just a little bit more. I want you to notice on this, if you're doing this quilt and you're using the grid work pattern, I fussy cut, let me put my, my pointer here. I fussy cut the spark plugs so they're all the right direction. So the spark plugs that are above and below each picture are vertical and so are the ones that are side by side. But I was looking around on the interwebs for more of this fabric and I found fuzzy dice. You see that? So this is not on the pattern, but I have decided, let me zoom in and see if you can see it a little bit better. I wish it was a little clearer, but so I'm going to go ahead and do a two and a half or three inch border of inner border of fuzzy dice before I do the five inch outer border. And the five inch outer border is the same navy blue that is in between all of the blocks like that. That's the five inch outer border. But I'm real pleased with how this came out. It was a lot of fun to put together and very, very easy to do. And I'll have it done, I'll have the top done tomorrow. Obviously it's not gonna get long armed until I move into my new sewing space. And then over here, this is Hope. This is Pat Sloan's pattern. It's a block a day. I am using Lori Holt's Granny Chic line. Let me get in there so you guys can see. I'm just doing solid centers and I will have the cornerstones will be solid white as well. So I am I'm all caught up with that. I'm very happy that I'm not getting behind on that quilt top. So today is the ninth and I have nine blocks done, which is great. So I do kind of scooch over here. My sewing machine right there <laughs> is behind the design wall and I, I, I'll sit there in the morning and do my block. So I am getting a little bit of stitching done every day. Let me go a little bit wider. And I'm gonna come back over here and sit here and talk with you guys. So if you are doing American muscle. If you're using the American muscle fabric and you are doing using the grid work pattern from Villa Rosa Designs, I trim those blocks so that they are an inch larger than the pattern calls for. 
because I didn't want to cut off any of the car or you know maybe I wanted to get the gas pump or the, the thing at the top the sign for the gas station so I went ahead and to accommodate for that the uh, sashing piece which is the spark plugs I made that an inch wider than the pattern calls for as well so that everything matched up real well and I like it I think it's fine I love the fuzzy dice when I got them I was like mm, I don't know but then I auditioned it and I really think it's going to do well and then of course it'll have the five inch border on the outside so it's a little bit larger quilt than what the pattern says it will be but this worked out perfect also I had mentioned that I did not have enough fabric for the granny chic line for hope so I ordered some it came from a company called southern fabric it came in just fine I got it it was a fat eighth bundle way more than I needed but that's okay it will not go to waste in in my place um, glad to have all that in now I have everything I need I was just short I don't know about seven blocks worth of the 11 and a half inch strips on hope that is a free pattern I will link to it below I also ordered from urban elements they had a sale one day maybe they had a bunch of these and they were trying to get rid of them or whatever hold on a minute I got all this stuff set up over here on my pre my cart that used to previously hold all my thread <laughs> I had to move it this is a basics block it is an island batik and gorgeous stuff let me put this up here so you can see can you see like the aqua that's in the black there very very nice regularly $42.99 they had it on sale for $30 and you guys when I get these kind of sales like this I think I put this out on Facebook and told in our Power Tools with Thread Facebook group and I told everybody this was on sale and I was going to get some you know I'm in the know on that kind of stuff I know some of you don't do Facebook and that's okay we have over 7,000 members in that group I am floored I'm <laughs> crazy and just a wonderful group of ladies and guys that are in there very supportive very nice if you ask a question from somebody you're bound to get an answer they're wonderful about that all right so I want to give a teaser to you guys I know a lot of you are here because you want to learn machine embroidery and I've been doing a lot of quilting stuff recently because I kind of go back and forth whatever tickles my fancy I go back and forth on you know I'm gonna quilt now and I'm gonna embroider then if you are looking to learn machine embroidery there is a fabulous company out there they are called Kimber Bell they're out of Utah and Logan I think and I am working with Kimber Bell to bring to you their newest line for the summer and it is a pattern book and it is called red white and bloom this is gorgeous this is such a neat neat quilt the book has the quilt kit a tea towel a denim tote and a table topper it has patterns in there for all of this so this is just a teaser if you go out to Kimber Bell's website right now it says out of stock but it's actually coming soon so I am working with Kimber Bell to bring you a couple of the blocks in the quilt but I was thinking about having a sew along because I think that would be a lot of fun but I don't know when just yet I expect it'll probably be before the end of April so in the book comes a CD and it has all of the embroidery files on it for all home embroidery machines and so it will work with your machine and then gives let me give you a close-up of the quilt do you see this one here with the fireflies you guys the fireflies light up with the little fairy lights they call them fairy lights they're so cool little neat little battery operated lights they light up and if you're new to embroidery I really really encourage you to to get a Kimberbell project but this one I'll be walking through the basics with you at least on one of the blocks but if I do a sew along we'll do the whole thing but I gotta tell you guys Kimberbell just breaks it down into such simple steps so it gives you the block names for all of the blocks that you're going to be making it encourages you to put all of your fabrics into little uh, baggies 
so that you can keep your fabric straight for each block. It will give you a cutting layout. So, like, if you order the kit, when, when they become available, they're not available yet, and you order the fabrics that go with the kit, each fabric, they have a picture of it right in the instructions, and there are a couple of pages of it. It tells you what block that fabric goes in, and then hidden underneath here, it tells you what size to cut the fabric. And then you put all your fabric into those little baggies, so you can totally keep it all straight. And then it gives you your borders and your backing and your yardage for all of that and everything. I don't know how to do this without giving away the measurements. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't think it really matters because if you don't have the design files, you really can't do anything anyway. Then for each fabric piece, it will tell you how to cut them out. It give you the exact measurements and tell you how to cut out your fabric. You can't go wrong with this. It's just wonderful. They also have their own stabilizers now and they have color coded the stabilizers that you will need to put this all together so that when you see one of these blocks you know what stabilizer to use for that particular block. Pretty cool. It doesn't get any simpler than this. They give you pattern notes and helpful tips, hooping instructions, embroidery instructions, and trimming instructions. It tells you like right here you need three watermelon blocks and you're going to use these fabrics and this is what you need to do. Also, I want to let you guys know the CD includes SVG cutting files. So that's great. If you have a Scan and Cut or a Cricut or some other kind of cutting machine, you can cut your fabric pieces out using your cutting machine and I will be doing that. Also, with this, it has the cutest stuff. So like with the fly fireflies, that's a jar. The, the jar block, there's two of them. Those little cherries right there, you guys, they make an embellishment kit for this. And here it is. And the, there's your cherries, okay? Here are your little fairy lights. Let me get up here and show you. We've got little buttons that you can put on the project. Here are our vinyls. All of these go in to that quilt. And the quilt finishes at 40 by 40, so it's not ginormous. So it's really awesome that you can make these blocks individually and you will put them together and create your own quilt top. It's very cool. I'm looking forward to doing this. The week of March 17th, I will be showing you my blocks and then probably the, I'm thinking sometime in April, I'm not entirely sure when these are gonna be released to the public but as soon as they are, I will let you know and you guys can get them. And I encourage you to uh, patronize your quilt shops for these. If you have a quilt shop nearby and you want to make this, I encourage you to talk to them and say, hey, when Kimber Bell puts out the red, white, and bloom, I would like to get that and then you can get your quilt shop to order it when they become available for ordering, okay? Most of the stuff you can't get online. Every once in a while you'll see something for it on Amazon or Etsy or whatever. But for the most part, uh, you need to buy Kimberbell stuff in your quilt shops. Dime Designs and Machine Embroidery has put out a new stabilizer. It is called Fuse Me. <laughs> I, I saw it and I thought, well, fuse me. <laughs> you guys, I'm getting funky over here with my room a mess. Making me crazy. <laughs> Low melt paper backed fusible web for bonding fabrics together. Prepare applique material by adhering Fuse Me to the reverse side after stitching the applique. Keep it wrinkle free by fusing the applique to the host fabric. Maintains soft hand after fusing. So, those of you that like doing applique quilts, Fuse Me will uh, do what you need. So, I'm going to test this. I just got this. I'm going to test it. I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I tell you, I've never been disappointed by any of the exquisite stabilizers from Designs and Machine Embroidery. Great stuff. Let me switch to talking about Scan and Cut. I have learned everything I ever knew about the Scan and Cut from two ladies that own a company down in Australia, and they're called Alanda Craft. 
A-L-A-N-D-A Craft, alandacraft.com. They have a uh, school, if you will, on all different kinds of things, but one of the classes that they offer, one of the sets of classes that they offer is on the Scan and Cut. And the first one is free. The basics of Scan and Cut is free. And I'll link to them below as well. A lot of you has a have asked me, what's the difference between the SDX125 and the SDX225? They have a really, really good comparison chart. And I usually link to that and send that to you or whatever. So I happened to be out on the Alanda Craft blog the other day. And you know what they were doing with the Scan and Cut? They were etching metal with it. Metal, like aluminum. So I saw that and I'm like, what are they doing? What are they doing? There is a company out there making this stuff. I think, so the company is called Zoom Precision. Zoom Precision. Zoom Precision. I bought this on Amazon. I'll link to it. This is pretty cool. Essentially what they've done is where you have a cut blade that you would normally cut fabric or paper or vinyl or whatever. You guys, let me get it out of here. I haven't opened it. It's a cut blade for metal. Look at that, it's heavy. And it fits right in the pen holder for the scan and cut. I never seen anything like it. Uh-oh, it comes with Three different tips. There's a real pointy one. There's kind of a wide one right there. And I dropped one. So you can use this. I have not tried this. And there's all different settings and whatnot. And the ladies at Alanda Craft have kind of figured it out. But what also comes with it. Well, why would you want to do that, right? Maybe you have a precious little something that you want to make a dog tag for. It comes with little dog tags. See the dog tags? How cool. And there's the side. It's got the plastic on it so that it you can etch it and it doesn't get scratched. So the package came with dog tags. It comes with tiny little hearts. Maybe you want to make yourself a charm. You can put on a zipper bag or something. How cool, huh? So you got three hearts. Butterfingers today, right? And they have actual dog tag, like rabies tags looking dog tags. Maybe you want to make something cool for your, your pet and put on their little collar and they can be cute, like a phone number or something like that. This is awesome. They also make larger pieces of aluminum or whatever the metal is. You can order larger pieces that go on the mat. I don't know if it needs a special mat. Don't ask me those questions, okay? I'm just telling you what I saw on the website. And you know me, I'm like, I got to go get it. <laughs> What is that? I plan, as soon as my room is in order, on checking this out. This is very cool to be able to do your own etching using your scan and cut and the Zoom Precision Etcher. It got pretty good reviews from the ladies at Alanda Craft. All right, you garment seamstresses out there. I know I never talk about garment. Now here's where garment seamstresses and embroiderers kind of overlap. Okay, I don't know if you know the most wonderful lady. Her name is Joanne Banco, and she is on PBS. Joanne has been on, is it It's So Easy TV, I think it is? She partnered up with Designs and Machine Embroidery and has put out a book called Wrapped in Embroidery. And this book has gorgeous machine embroidered wraps and cozy cover-ups. I wanna show this to you guys. It is available on her website. I will link to it below so you can click on it and just jump over there. Non-affiliate link if you are interested in doing this. The book includes an accompanying CD, three fabulous solutions for stitching continuous and embroidered motifs. So let's go through. Joanne wrote me a cute note in here. It says, Becky, I wish you a world full of pretty stitches. I know Power Tools with Thread is helping sewing enthusiasts find happiness in their sewing room. Joanne Banco. Isn't that nice? What a nice thing. 
She's such a nice lady. We've been emailing and she's just sweet as can be. So look at this, you guys. Look at this. what's in this book. There are patterns to tell you how to make the wrap and then it tells you what kind of fabric to buy and look at these beautiful embroidery designs. Look at this one. Now is the time to make these so you're ready for next fall. It tells you what kind of threads and needles you would need to make this. It gives you some hints and tips and tricks like using target stickers if you don't have a camera system. And it shows you how to align all of your designs and how to grid it and get everything right and straight. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? That's a pretty one. So these designs are included in this book on a CD. There they are right there. See that? So you can make a continuous design and they show you how to line them up. So those of you that like to sew wraps. Ooh, pretty. Look at that. So this other shawl, I want to show you this. It's called a button suede shawl. So look at this. Isn't that cool? That is a button that matches. All right. How cool is that? And they show you how to make your own buttons. So you create your own embroidery and then make your own button. You can do it in any color you want. Pretty cool, huh? This lady is so nice. She wants to give one of you one of these books. Because of the value of the book, I'm going to have to set a little stipulation here, okay? If you would like to win this book, you need to be subscribed to my channel. Now, when you leave a comment, YouTube shows me a little icon next to your name, and that tells me that you're an actual subscriber versus just watching YouTube and leaving a comment and you're not actually subscribed to my channel. So if you would like to win this book with the CD, you need to hit the little subscribe button down below this video. So what you need to do, if you look underneath this video and you see a button and it says subscribe and it's in red, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. You need to hit subscribe button and then it will kind of gray out. And then you need to leave a comment that says, I want to be wrapped in embroidery. I want to be wrapped in embroidery. Ms. Banco is going to ship you your own autographed copy. How nice is that? So be sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't just leave a comment without making sure you're subscribed. If you're not sure, look down underneath my video and it should say the little subscribe button should be grayed out. If it's not, you need to click it and subscribe, okay? So be sure to subscribe and leave a comment that says, I want to be wrapped in embroidery. And then I will let Ms. Benko know who the winner is. It will close out on Monday, March 15th, at 5 p.m. Central Time. You have until Monday, March 15th, 5 p.m. Central Time to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for a notification so you're notified whenever I release a video and then leave the comment that says, I want to be wrapped in embroidery, all right? Okay, you guys, that's a lot of stuff. I just thought I would pop in and chit chat. Good luck to all of you who want to win that. I think that is gorgeous. I can't wait to make up some myself. All right. We will talk to you soon. Go sell something. Bye. Okay, guys. So you want to say hi? This is Manuel. Hi, how doing? <laughs> Anybody in San Antonio needs any kind of home interior uh, remodeling done, uh, email me at powertoolswiththread at outlook.com and I will give you his contact information. So today what he did was... He sprayed texture onto those paper sacks that were on the wall and then blended in the texture with the existing texture on the ceiling. Check that out. What a great job. So, and he's done really a good, good job of taping everything off and running plastic all over stuff to keep the overspray from getting all over everything where you don't want it. So this is day number two, and don't worry about the mess on the floor, you guys. I'm getting new flooring as well. So, And he went through, there used to be a bar rail right here because this was a game room when we bought the house. 
and they went through and trimmed the bar rail to like half, which I love because it's still going to be a finish for the edge of the barn wood on top but my quilts can hang over it and my furniture can push up against it. So there's the barn door that Keith made. See, he taped it all off and then it's got primer on it now. That's gonna be like a slate gray, It'll be real pretty. So look at this, it just looks so good. The ceiling will be painted white, the walls will be a light gray and the barn wood will be white. So we're on day two of reconstruction here.